Hello everyone and welcome back to the Game Shed with me Mark and welcome to another PS Classic video. Another one to add to the list. It's a tutorial today and what I wanted to show you is how to load PSP games onto your PS Classic via RetroArch and BleemSync. Thank you so much to the guys working on this uh, over at Mod My Classic. It's an amazing job you're doing and we all appreciate it. Here's to all the hype around 1.0 which is coming very soon. So 1.0 hype, let me know if you are hyped in the comments section below. Anyway, for today's video, I just want to show you how to get PSP games onto your PS Classic. Very plain and simple and it's a very, very easy process. If you've followed all my other videos and you have RetroArch already on your USB stick, I did a stream earlier on of PSP games and some of them ran very well, some of them ran very badly. So you need to just take that into consideration if you are looking to play PSP games. Some of them really don't run yet. Like God of War, I think I got 10 frames per second out of. So it was really rough. But some games work beautifully, like Burnout worked really well. Sega Rally works really well. And I've been in the background testing a few more. I haven't had a huge amount of joy, but it's definitely worth trying. So I'd love to hear from you. If you've done this tutorial or after you've done this tutorial and you've tested out some games, let me know what you've tested and let me know whether it worked or not. So here's on to the tutorial. Let's get on with it. Stop talking, Mark. Today on Discord, Swing Flip, the amazing dev over at Mod My Classic, shared the PSP core for RetroArch and it's been modded for PSC, so the PlayStation Classic. So as you can see here, just drag the RetroArch folder on top of your RetroArch folder, regardless if you're on Christmas Beta or 0.7. If your game has way too many graphical glitches, try turning on GPU block uh, in the Quick Menu Core options. Turn this on, remove the glitches, but take a lot of resource. Some games that run well enough anyway should be fine with the GPU block on. But you just got to try it yourself. So there's there's a little workaround there. There's there's lots of other options within RetroArch that you can test, but give it a go. Let me know. So download the zip file, first of all, I will put the link in the description below for you. Once you've done that, you will be presented with this folder. As you can see, it's got RetroArch there. Go over to your USB stick, like so. Grab the RetroArch folder and literally just drag it in. Copy it over the top of all your other files. Click on replace the files in the destination and it will start to copy them across, as you can see here. It's, re it's pretty quick because it's only small amount of files. The, the long bit will be copying PSP games onto the USB stick. Unfortunately, I don't have a USB 3.1 stick yet. I think the SanDisk Ultra Fit works really well. Uh, I will be getting that because I need to have that in my life. I need the quick copying of games because they are rather large. So yes, that is very annoying at the moment for me. But anyway, it doesn't matter. So once you've done that, go into your RetroArch folder go into games and as you will see here I've already created a PSP folder so create one in there get your PSP games and literally chuck them into the folder I'm finding that these games are pretty big so if you've only got a 32 gig stick like me you may struggle a little bit this may be the time that you get a secondary stick and you start adding other games to it and you just replicate the config and then it means you can have a 0.4.1 and a 1.0 when it comes out so excited so there you go I've got games on there let's chuck the USB stick into our PS Classic and I'll boot it up and show you how to get the games up and running right so that's the PS Classic switched on once we get to the menu we just need to choose RetroArch wait for that to come up uh, load core and load the PPSSPP LibRetro core once you've done the core go to load content and then find your folder that you created before so go to media and then you will see RetroArch games PSP. There's my list of games. I know that only two of these work properly. One of them is Burnout and one of them is Sega Rally. I'm going to just boot up Sega Rally and show you how it looks. So there we go, Sega Rally up and running. I've noticed on some games that it struggles a little bit with saving to the virtual memory stick. I don't know why. It may just be to do with the characters or uh, something like that, but I had failures within the memory stick So just keep an eye out for that and let me know in the comments if you've had failures with saving to your memory stick as well So this is Sega Rally. This works really well As far as I've found so far there are a few graphical glitches here and there 
But if you want to try messing around with the settings and see if you can make it perfect, then all you have to do on the controller is press start and select and you'll get the RetroArch settings. If you then go down to options, you will see a bunch of settings there. Some of them ones that I've found to help. Force max frames per second definitely helps on some games. I found that that ramps it right up to 60 frames a second when some of them are 30 frames per second at the beginning. Uh, there are a couple of other things. There's the block transfer GPU that swing flip mentioned in the message. And there's a bunch of other stuff. So feel free to test any of the stuff out. Just remember what you've turned on and what you haven't. When you reset the PlayStation Classic, it will reset these settings. So you will have to go back in to do it. Right, that is that. I've done the max frames. Let's see if we can... I can show you quickly what it looks like. There's my Subaru. There we go. Automatic. I showed earlier how rubbish I was at this game on the stream and I'm probably going to show you a little bit of how rubbish I am now. So here we go, look at the trees, they're a bit blocky, which is a bit odd, but the cars look pretty good, the road looks good, I mean most of the background looks good. You can see we've got graphical difficulties in some sections. There you go, there's how good I am at Sega Rally, <laughs> straight off the bat. Right, I don't really need to show you any more than that. That is it. That's literally how you load PSP games onto your PS Classic. I would love to have you along to one of our future live streams. I am trying to play the PS Classic as much as possible with different emulators and different games. So I'd love to see you along. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and make sure you switch on the notifications to be notified when we go live. Thank you very much for watching. I'm much appreciated. I hope this is helpful and I hope you get some PSP games up and running. Thank you very much again and I will see you next time.